안녕하세요. How's everybody doing? Um, you yeah, had a nice full day today. I uh, went to the Goyangi Cafe. Goyangi means cat in Korean. Um, I go there every two weeks. Ichu. Um, because it's the only place where my anxiety is is zero. Um. Yeah, and I've been getting help with um, this drug called Ash Ashwagandha that's been helping me with my anxiety and sleeping so um, yeah so today I'm doing a poem it's a bit dark it's what happened when I was on holiday with my parents in Melbourne um, something that I would rather forget and I have moved on from it even though I so read its ugly head today and I know God was there for when the terrible situation happened. I wish I had called the cops back then um, but there's nothing I could do. Um, so here it goes. And yes I still honour my folks even though what they did was horrible but I'll just get on with it. In Melbourne around 2003 maybe in 2005 no, before 2005 before I became a wonderful wonderful Christian that I am today I went there with my toxic folks I regret that forevermore and today that I forgive them though not forgotten. Evil surfaced while, while they were watching the football. I think it might have been because of poor power losing. Whatever sh crap they were going through, they were taking it out on me. So They mocked and body shamed my body. Wow, what a surprise. I'm about to say what, what and how they treated me to everybody. People have a right to know. They would complain about my hair. Do you ever brush your hair? When, when most of the time it was called Windy Days and Mother Nature. They would complain on how I dress. Yes, I was in hell there. I did tape them without them knowing with a tape recorder. Long lost the tape recorder, so I have to endure the truth and cringe the past. I wish I had kept the tape, but I feel I was meant to lose the tape. Went to see my sister and everything was fine. I went to the Melbourne Zoo with my father. They complained the zoo is only for children, which was bollocks. People of all ages goes to the zoos because they love animals and not just because of their false accusations. I have asked my Holy Father to erase all the pain that I have endured. It was a challenge and a trial. He saw the pain I went through. It has scarred me but I have moved on. I pray the mission training will be great for me to help my church and Sajuna community. Please pray for the pain that I've gone through, has gone and will be gone forever. If you saw what they had done, you would have called the police. While I was there, I wish I had. I really wish I had. Um... Yeah, it's called domestic violence and a verbal abusive folks. That's how they treated me when I was there. They just nitpick, nitpicked at me every little thing they could find. Whatever they were going through at the time, they dumped it all on me. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so everything, you know, I've tried to push it aside, but today 
he read his ugly head at the cat cafe. Um, but yeah, so just please pray that all that horrible situation that I went through will be gone. Because I've moved on, I've forgiven them. You know, it's very, very hard for me. Um, I have forgiven them because um, I know God has already punished my father. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure he's punished my mum too. So, um, yeah, and yeah, and I don't think my my sister knew what was going on then, but she'd be on their side. So, um, like I said, I'm the black sheep of the family. So, yeah, and that. Cause they'd be in denial. <laughs> Dad was in denial when he tried to put put his hands around my neck in nine ninety six. So, yeah, and I put pressure on my neck. So yeah, it's called domestic violence. Um, yeah, and I feel God. Um, has revealed, opened my eyes. He has really opened my eyes, as to what has happened. You know, He's really opened me up to it. Um, I really, like, I'll keep in contact with my folks by SMS or phone call, but in reality, I don't ever want to see them again. I do honour them, I've got to honour them. You know, the honour, yeah, folks, is part of the Ten Commandments. I may have, my, I may honour them, but I do not have to see them ever again if I didn't want, if I don't want to. Um, because I'm just scared they're going to body shame me or say something negative. So I warned them when I was in Seoul, they do not have permission to disrespect me on on email. So, and all I got was the okay. So they know that if they do it again, then I'll just get up and leave. I will not put up with their crap anymore. So... God has finally opened my eyes to them. Um, for, for half half my life, they've been disrespectful to me. Um, I've probably done my fit. Probably been disrespectful to one another, but I know I'm more aware how much more disrespectful they've been to me throughout through most of my life. Um, you know, they they say they love me. Yeah, they get a funny way of showing it. Um, so, but that's just how I feel. Um, yeah. So, hopefully you guys have a great day. And on Saturday of this, this Saturday coming, there's an open harvest happening at Light Square uh, where all Christian churches get together and worship and praise God. It starts from 1pm onwards at Light Square um, in Curry Street. So, just... Not far from t um, TAFE, like horizontally from TAFE. Um, so if you guys are interested, yeah, come on down and yeah, we'll worship and praise our God together. So there's only one God. So there's only one God and one Savior. So yeah. So thank you guys and hopefully you have a blessed day. And young you guess you all. Bye.